What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome to episode 3 in our Draft to Glory. So this is the first time I've uploaded Draft to Glory in about a couple of weeks guys. Um, I've just been focusing on foot champions for the past few weeks. But this week I've played a few foot champions guys, I've played about like 20, 24 games and I've got about 18 wins. So I stopped there because I didn't really have enough time this weekend. So I got gold free, so if you guys want me to show you them packs, um, I'm not sure if it's worth it or not, but if you guys want to see it then I will upload it. So um, tell me in the comments section down below if you want to see them packs or if you don't want to see them packs. So for today's video we are going to be entering the foot draft. Here we go with 15k coins and you guys really enjoyed the last episode so I really just wanted to bring you out another episode for today. So we're going to go, obviously go to 4-3-2-1 formation, you want a formation with wingers as there's Bale, as there's Ronaldo and that is exactly what we're going to get, we're never turning down Ronaldo. I don't think I'll ever turn down Ronaldo, like any card of Ronaldo, I'd never turn him down. So I think I'm going to go with Cavani here, simply because of the ra um, rating advantage. I think I'm just going to go for Cavani. So we're just going to go for Cavani here. And in the right wing position, we are going to go for... Definitely going to go for... Actually, Bia Biani. Now, he's Serie A. I thought it was Liga Un. Um, I'll just go with Rodrigo here because he's BBVA. If we get a BBVA striker up here, which hopefully we will, we can get a link there. So, I think this team is looking... Oh... Kante completely changes the game, doesn't he? Kante's a quality centre mid in this game. Um, I think we're just going to go for Kante, guys. Simply because you just can't turn Kante down. He's a great player unless you've got a legend like Vieira or something in that role. So I'm just going to go with Kante here. And we've got a BBVA centre mid here. We're just going to go with him. Um, I haven't tried him much, it'll be good to try him out. There's a few centre mids which have surprised me in draft this year. They've literally just turned up, started making goals and actually scoring goals for me, which is really good. So we have Pjanic here, we have an inform Pjanic, but I'm not going to go with him. We need that chemistry. So we're going to go for Gabby in the centre mid. This draft isn't looking too bad. If we can replace Kante with a BBVA player, get a BBVA player up top, it won't be too bad. But the chemistry, we really need to fix that. We're going to go with Control here, obviously. I think this is looking like it's going to be a BBVA draft, which is mostly what my drafts consist of, just BBVA. In previous FIFAs, like, it was really ridiculous with just the B amount of BBVA players you got in the actual selection. So people just ended up going BBVA, but now there's more of a... There's more... It's more versatile, so you can adapt your team to what you actually want to do. So you don't have to go with BBVA all the time. So what we're, what we're going to go with here is... I'm not sure. I'm, I think I'm just going to go with Marquinhos. Like, there's nothing much else I could have done. I could have gone with a BPL player. And... These are great players, guys. It's just the chemistry. That's the thing. We just want good chemistry. Um, I can go for Alves. Or I can go for Aurier. Or I can, but Lom would get no link, that's the thing. I'll just go with Danny Alves, guys. He's just too quick. He's very quick on the wings. He's a very good right back in this game. And obviously in that centre mid roll, mid roll we're going to go with Godin. 89 centre back. He hasn't got the best of pace, but he looks like he would be something like really good in this game. And in goal, we're, we are going to go with... Um, see, we can go with Raynor, and if we have BP, um, a BBVA player, like PK or something that's Spanish, he'll go with Raynor as well. So, we're just going to go with Raynor. Yeah, Raynor. We're just going to go with Raynor in there. So, 66 chem, 86 rated. Not the best draft, guys, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we get someone... Which can help us improve the chemistry. So we're just going to go with the left back here. Just some random left back. 
Hopefully we can get something we we need. That is an Ericsson there. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ericsson there. But I'm really looking to improve the chemistry. That's the thing. We're not getting enough Spanish or BBVA players. There's Vasquez, Vasquez there, but yeah, I'll just pick him. This isn't. This is looking like an all right draft. It isn't the worst. That is Bale. That makes it a lot better. A lot, lot better. I need a Bale, guys. If we get a Bale and put him up here. Now I just put Cavani back there. Just swap Rodrigo with Bale. Wait. Yeah, we get plus five cam if we put Bale there, but obviously we're not going to do that. But I've seen Bale play well in centre mid before. Like, he isn't a bad centre mid player. Like, people use him a lot in the weekend league, so he's probably not too bad. We're going to go with Tello here, obviously. And in our reserves, hopefully we can get a BBVA striker. And, wow, these are very good players, but... I think I'm going to go with Rooney, you know. Well, Rooney or Di Maria? I'll just go with Di Maria here. I really didn't know what to choose, but... Oh, Mick... Oh, Willian. Willian or Mkhitaryan? That's a difficult one. We're going to go with Willian here. Willian's just got the, the pace advantage, if you guys get what I mean. If we put Willian there, and then put Bale there... We've actually got 71 chem now, which isn't too too terrible guys so in left back i'm actually gonna go with van on let's just go with van on here just fill out the rest of the players oh messy wow this is looking like a very good draft now um if we get messy and put him there and then actually if we put bale there and then have we got a... Nah, that isn't the best option, is it? That isn't the best option. Alright, I'll just go back to what it was before, guys. 71 cam. Yeah, we get 74 cam over here. If we get Vazquez and put him here, that gets 77 cam. All we need is a centre mid in the BBVA, then we're set. Ooh, Costa. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go with Costa here, guys. If I put him here... Oh, he gets no links. So not the best chemistry, guys. We've got two more positions left to fill. Hopefully we can get something like much better. Oh, that's Bellerin. That makes it so much better. See, if we get Bellerin here, put him in there. Have we got any BPL centre-backs? 75. Nah. Bellerin doesn't really fit in, does he? I can just bring him on as a sub for the team. If I really want to. Or I can actually... But the thing is, he wouldn't... Let's try this here. Oh, that actually gets better cam right there. Um, if you were to swap that around. And then put Bella in here. There we go, 79 cam. And if we were to put... Wow, that gets plus 8 cam. Wow. Plus 8. That gets us 87 cam. And he's not even in the right position. Like, nowhere near the right position. Um, you know what, guys? We're actually going to do this. And as soon as the game kicks off, we're going to sub Rodrigo off for a centre-back. So we'll just do that. And in goal... Oh no, that isn't looking good, is it? Oh, I'll just pick this guy. Whatever. Not the worst draft, but not the best draft for this episode, guys. Not the worst draft. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this all up. Get Cavani in there. So an 86 rated draft with 87 chem. Hopefully we can improve the chem by getting a good... Okay. So he will fit perfectly. And 93 chem. Yeah, 93 chem guys. Not too bad. That isn't the worst draft ever. That's actually quite a good draft. So guys... As you guys can see it right now, we have our draft over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the games as normal, do a post com over them and come back to you with a live com where I just talk about how I felt I did. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the gameplay. So into our first game we go. This guy had a decent team to be fair, but we're not going to let that you know, affect us, we go 1-0 up, and that's what I'm talking about, players like Ronaldo, players like Bale, they are just of premium quality, they've got that bit of class which you wouldn't find from any other player, all these expensive players, that's why guys, you need to be, to get hold of these players, you need to be investing money into the game, or you need to be investing time, and if you want to be competing at these, you know, regionals, these amazing tournaments with amazing players you have to have the best players because they'll give you the highest chance of winning and playing with these players is just fun that's what i really like about draft so you guys can see messi doing bits for me we've obviously got bale putting in the goals for me but messi like in previous fifas they just made him shit like he was just in ronaldo's shadow like, Ronaldo was just another class to Messi, but now they've actually balanced it out. Now Messi's starting to become a better player. Some people even say they prefer him more than Bale. I haven't tried Messi out enough to say he's better than Bale, but what I've tried from him, he is a very good player. His dribbling is just immense, and his burst of pace. He can beat any defender as he makes it 2-0. We do that dab celebration. Are you? I was doing the Gangnam Style celebration, but now I'm back to the dab for some reason. I don't know why. It's just that people get more triggered. So it's more likely to make people rage quit, which is obviously good because it wastes less time. So this guy actually chips me like he gets a bit of a consolation go but we hold on make it 3-1 we come up against this guy he was playing nasa chadley in striker i don't know what was up with that i think this was the semi-finals yes i think it was the semi-finals but mandanda has no chance over there messi is just putting on an absolute show for us it's just absolutely amazing to see messi just dribbling through players making keepers look like absolute idiots he makes it 2-0 here and this game I couldn't see myself losing it. Guys, you just have to stay focused and just grind out wins in the weekend league, in the draft, in any FIFA game mode, in any game really. You just need to stay focused because you can lose focus for a second and then you can concede a goal and you can find yourself on the losing side. Guys, just take a minute to appreciate that from Kante. What a goal from him. He makes it 1-0. This is the final and that was an absolutely important goal because we want to win it. Like, who doesn't want to go into the draft and not draft and not win it? You invest 15k of, what, 300 FIFA points. So obviously you want to win it. And look at this. I actually score from a corner. Like, this is one of my only times I scored from a corner. Make it 2-1. We got to win that game, guys, actually. We make it 3-1 here. Ronaldo, I'm not going to miss this one. So, guys, I will see you guys in the actual live com. So, I will see you guys in the live com. He rage quits. So, guys, another draft entry and another draft victory um we're really playing well like at this moment in time we're on top of our game and like we're loving life at the moment i feel confident to take on anyone like even the pro players i think i'd give them a good game i might not win but i think i'd give anyone in the world right now at fifa a very good game of fifa so we have our packs coming up, you guys see, hopefully we get good rewards, we managed to get two rage quits I think it was, yeah I don't know why this guy rage quit in the 86th minute, the game was practically over but he decides to rage quit in the 86th minute, as you can see we absolutely dominated him on stats and really the only thing I really need to not the only thing everything can be improved but the thing i need to improve significantly in my gameplay 
is my finishing to be honest because I'm getting I'm making a load of chances I'm just not getting the right angle on the keeper and I'm not finishing it how I should be finishing it I should be taking every single chance I get so enough of me just talking we're going to advance and we're going to see what we get hopefully we get something good so here we go we have Come on. Okay, a rare gold pack, a mega pack, and a premium gold players pack. So, not too bad, guys. It's it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. We can get so much worse. So, I'm just happy I didn't get the, the worst thing I can probably get. But the best thing we can get is probably about 45k in a rare players pack. But anyway, enough of me chatting shit let's get into our packs so our first pack the premium goes gold players pack hopefully come on we can get something from this that's nothing is it it's a little flare nah a kissy he's a very cheap player he's good in game he has one of them players added in my starter squad but what i'm gonna do with all these players you never know one of these silvers could go for something you know or an SBC can be out and the players go for more coins than they usually would. So we've got a rare gold players pack now and we've got our mega pack. So firstly we are going to go and open our... What's worse? Um, I'll go for the rare gold pack. Come on. Walk out. Okay, no walk out. Decent flare. Isco. That ain't terrible, guys. It's because a decent Williams, Montero. And we get a squad fitness. That ain't that bad, guys. That pack. So what we're going to do now, we're going to store everything in the club now. Hopefully, we can make our coins back or maybe even a profit. And this is the pack we've all been waiting for. Come on, EA. A mega pack. No walkout. Not a good flare, is it? Oh, God. This guy, Gonalons, 81 CDM, not the best. Oh, we get, we get Hesse, we get Lanzini, we get Daya. I think Daya might go for a bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to store these all to the club. You never know, there could be someone in there which goes for a lot that I don't even know about. Gaitan in one of the reward pack opening videos. I didn't think he'll go for a lot, but he actually went for quite a bit. He went for like 15k. So what we're going to do now is we are going to store everything in the trade pile. We're going to keep this attribute card actually. Oh shit. Alright, we just store this. And we will redeem this, these coins. And we will store the rest of this in our transfer list. And whatever I accidentally put in the club, I will put back in my transfer list. So guys... If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to see another Draft to Glory soon, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, leave a dislike. Tell me why in the comment section down below and, of, and how I can improve. And I will see you guys later. Peace.